Hi, hope you guys are fine. I think you are able to understand the videos what I'm uploading and you are able to follow the problem solving. And I think you're helping you to understand the topics in Automata theory pretty much easily. And it has become simple for you, I feel. I request you to just subscribe my channel. Please do watch the videos, share with your friends. Thank you. It is win-win situation. Yeah, coming back. Last session, we were talking about how to solve a PDA. It was very interesting. Solving PDA itself is an interesting thing always. PDA, push down automata, can be used to solve many problems. We have taken one more problem of the kind, which is almost similar to the previous problem which we solved. So today's problem is language L equals A power 2N, B power N. Only change in the position of a 2, but it makes lots of difference. You need to just go through one by one. Okay, let's start. The question says to accept the strings of A's and B's where the language is A power 2N and B power N. If you can check it out, in the last video, you can see that we had A, A, B, 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 B. That means we have number of B's where twice number of A's. But here it is number of A's are twice number of B's. So it is pretty much ulta. Okay, anyhow, we need to just uh, move on to understand our design or to know how do I draw it. So let's say stack is indicated by empty stack by using uh, Z. And let's understand how do I solve this problem. Observe properly here, when you say it is A, A, B, Remember, we need to push all A's for every B we need to pop. But remember, when you push all A's, you are pushing two A's. But we are able to only pop one A because you have only one B. Then how do I manage? That's the interesting topic here. Some people may be wondering, how do I solve this? It's not so difficult to worry. Just observe. Let me take this example. A, 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 B, B. So now what will I do? I just say A, yeah, I just push A, the first A, but I need to take care of second A as well. As I said, we need to push all the A's. It doesn't mean I push all the A's literally. What I can do is, for every two A's, I can only push one A. Remember, we know that we can push as many symbols onto the stack, but we can pop only one symbol at a time. So keeping that in mind, when I say I can push A or I can push two A's, I can do it. But here I wanted to equate it to number of B's. So number of B's are half of A's. We have to somehow reduce the number of A's what is there in stack, not what is there in input symbol. For that purpose, we just do for every two A's, you only push one A. That means you push first A, the first A, for the second A, you replace A with A. You push third A. For fourth A, you replace A with A. Push fifth A, replace sixth A. Now, how many A's you have? Three A's. How many B's you will be having? Three B's. So you can easily pop it. So remember that. First A you push, second A replace. Third A we push. Fourth, we replace it goes on every alternate years are getting replaced so that the stack top will be in the same level or the same value so that you can easily uh, check out with the number of base. But interesting thing is, you cannot blindly do that. We need to have some transition of states between one and other so that it will not create any confusions or any problem. Let's understand that. As you know, step two is to write the transition. So first, we just talk about push transitions. In the state Q0 with the input symbol A and stack top is Z, I just to say, change the state to Q1, push A onto Z. Observe this. I'm just pushing it. That means first A I'm pushing. 
So the second year, what I should do now, automata is in Q1. The state has been changed. So in the state Q1, when you encounter A and stack top is also A. Observe properly. Then what I say, again, change the state to Q0. Replace A by A. So now you can observe in these two transitions. If the initially the condition was empty, the track is was empty and you want to push A then we just push a by changing the state that is the only change we are making here observe properly but now the automata is in q1 if it it will encounter next year that means second day literally speaking when it encounter second year we just replace it with first year and again we change the state to q0 so now automata is still in q0 to accept third year that means automata keeps changing the state from q0 to q1 q1 to q0 accordingly now moving on let's see another condition there what if suppose in the state q0 when you encounter n stack top is also a even then we need to push i just to say we just we can just push it so observe the statement now q0 a and a that is in the state q0 if you encounter n stack top is also a then in the state q0 when you encounter a you just change the state to q1 it's as similar to the previous one where there you had uh, Z as stack top, but here we have A as stack top. That is the only difference. So these three are the push transitions. We need to just observe properly what is happening. This makes all the A's to push into the stack. But remember, we just have half of A's, half number of A's. When you want to push 10 years, you'll have only five years there because every alternating years are getting replaced. Fine. So this will work for first year and these two will work for corresponding years. Second year, third year, fourth year, fifth year, it keeps on rotating again. Keeping this in mind, I can write where in the state Q0, we encounter input symbol B and stack top will be A. When you say stack top is A and input symbol is B, we know that we need to change the state normally and we need to just pop it. And pop, here is a transition. So we, we need to just pop the symbol A and it's on the stack top and keep on moving further. Keeping this in mind, in the state Q2, if you encounter B and stack top is A, even then we try to pop. That's all. We got it. At the end, we'll be left, we will be left with this is a scenario at the end where you may encounter epsilon in the input symbol and stack top is z. When you encounter use this statement or this scenario, you just change the state to q3, replace it by z itself. Hope this is interesting. This is one technique I feel. I have seen some other people thinking or solving in some other technique as well. But we need to be much more careful to understand whether it is able to accept all possible scenarios or not. And you cannot push all the A's, remember. That's the only one thing. And you have a condition with respect to popping, not pushing. So you need to play with pushing itself. Hope you are uh, able to manage with that. Let's start with uh, drawing PDA. Yes, step three is to draw transition diagram of a PDA. Let's do that. You have state Q0. Observe this. In the state Q0, if you encounter A and stack top is Z, we are pushing A onto the stack top by changing the state to Q1. Again, when you encounter A and stack top is also A, we are just replacing A with A itself. There is one more transition in the state Q0. If you encounter A and stack top is A, we need to just push that also by changing the state. I just write the same thing here. Hope this is clear. Moving on, we go to Q2. When we encounter B, and when stack top is A, we just pop it. It will be in self loop. In the state Q2, when you encounter epsilon, that means if there are no symbols in the stack, sorry, if there are no input symbols, and stack top is also Z, no symbols in the stack. Both, are both the conditions will be there. Then 
I can easily say change the state to Q3 and string is accepted. So to say the string is accepted, I can say this as final state. So now in this example, Q3 becomes final state. Hope that's clear. Yeah, we have left with the last step. Okay, let's start with accepting the strings. A, 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 B, B. It is Q0. We know that in the state Q0, if you encounter A and stack top is there, we will be in this, we will be changing the state to Q1. Pushing A onto stack. Now, in the state Q1, if you encounter A and stack top is also A, we just change the state to Q0 and then we try to replace A by A itself. So this is the scenario. Now again, in the state Q0, if you encounter A and stack top is also A, change the state to Q1, push A, A. I repeat. In the state Q0, if you encounter A and stack top is A, change the state to Q1 again, push A onto stack. Now, when you encounter fourth A, we need to replace. So that is the scenario we have shown there. This is the information for your ID. Now, when you encounter B in the state Q0, then you just try to pop the symbol A from the stack. Again, we need to change the state to Q2 here. Check it out. In the state Q0, when you encounter B and stack top is A, change the state to Q2, pop A. So this is the scenario. Now what happens in the state Q2, if you encounter B again, and stack top is A, then obviously this becomes epsilon, this becomes Z. Check it out. In the state Q2, if it encounters epsilon and stack top is Z, that means it is accepted the string. So just change the state to Q3, it will be epsilon again, stack top will be Z. This is about the problem we were supposed to solve and we have solved it. Very much interesting. Check out properly, the same thing can be done for similar problems. Maybe I can say a power 2n, b power n plus 1, or a power 3n, b power n can also be solved. You solve, keep solving. Keep watching the videos. Subscribe the channel. Thank you for watching. Thank you.